All right, what's up guys? It's Saturday. Oops, falling over the rocks here. It's Saturday. Um, it's actually almost five o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I kind of played catch up on sleep today, which felt kind of weird. Uh, not gonna lie. So, um, I haven't done anything to the truck yet today. Uh, last night, I got this aired up. Um, got 35 pounds in that. I would have liked to have 40, but for some reason, it just didn't want to air up. And then I put a little air in this one because it was a little low, and I found out why. I don't know if it's up. No, I think it's down on the bottom. I got a screw in that tire. So... I'm going to have to fix that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so uh, tomorrow, I mean Sunday, I am going to be driving about half an hour north, a half hour, 45 minutes or so north of town here. Um, I got to go talk to a guy about possibly working for him, uh, farming. So... I don't know if there'll be a video tomorrow or not. Um, I might try and get one done. But for right now, my plan, we're gonna get these wipers thrown on. I'm hoping that these are the right wipers because I had to have them before where you look at one wiper, it looks the same. Turns out it's not even freaking close. Let's prop this up entirely. There we go. Um, but yeah. So let's see what we got here. Come on. My fingers don't reach in here very good. Here we go. Okay. So we got this wiper here. Just gonna throw this junk back into the pack. This other one here, get it opened up. That one worked how it should have. Okay, pull that off. I don't need to do anything. Okay, we got wiper blades. Let's go change them. And then I'm gonna see about tackling this project here as well. My bad, I did not mean to um, cut the video there. Kind of just ended on me. All right, I accidentally tapped it, but okay. So let's see if I can kind of prop this up here in a way that it'll show you. There we go. Pull that off. And let me guess, I don't have the right fiber bits. Nope, I don't. Okay, well, so much for that idea. These are the wrong wiper blades. So, I'm gonna have to get the right ones then, I guess. Whatever. My wiper blades aren't completely shot. I just figured I'd replace them after winter because I usually like to uh, replace my wipers in the spring because um, over the winter time, it kind of messes them up with all the ice and whatnot other junk on the windshields that kind of ruins them so i thought i'd do that but i guess not so we got the heat gun we got an extension cord because thankfully our plug-in is right here so let's go ahead and get this stuff opened up Oops, I need to go the right way. The twist ties. Uh. 
Okay. There we go. Did not want to come apart very well. So I'll plug that into there. And then this will get opened up. This is just a cheap heat gun from Harbor Freight. I've had the Harbor Freight heat gun in the past. It worked pretty dang good. And, uh, you know, I'm really not too gung-ho about an expensive heat gun or nothing. I mean, if it's cheaper, I don't really care. Um, let's go ahead and we'll go throw this stuff away. So, um, yeah, we're going to attempt, uh, we're going to start with the lettering on the passenger side. See if we can't get that junk off. Um, yeah, we'll start with that. See how she goes from there. Uh, when I was first kind of thinking over this idea, I could have thrown that away, but I didn't think about it. Uh, when I was first thinking over this idea to remove all the badging and whatnot off the truck, um, I looked up quite a few videos on it first, to kind of, or not only videos, but just looked up a lot of stuff in general about it, just to kind of see about it first. And, um... I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's that hard to do, but we're going to try it. And I did get some stuff to remove the adhesive, if there should be any adhesive left. Ooh, that's actually rather easy. <laughs> okay so then I got goo gone stuff to remove that so um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set that white chair up and set my phone on it and then you guys can watch while I take the rest of these off and tackle these two as well actually I'm probably just gonna start with the letters and then I'm gonna try mess with the adhesive and make sure it'll actually come off first and then we'll move to the big pieces. So, see you guys here in a second. And uh, this next segment will be time-lapsed as well. So, enjoy.
All right, well, got all of them off and got the adhesive for the S off. There's still a little bit there. It's still a little noticeable, but it's actually not that bad. Um, I'm gonna work on the rest of these off film and see kind of what, see if I can figure out maybe a technique that works a little better. Here we go. I did kind of get a little deep in this spot, a little deeper than I meant for the paint and kind of scratched up the paint a little bit. So I kind of got to watch that a little here. But if anything, I can maybe just touch it up too. I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and work on getting the rest of these off and I'll see you guys when I get this crap off and get started on the big pieces. All right, guys, so <clears throat> I got one side pretty much done. It doesn't look perfect. Um, after I clean this, then I'll probably go at it again a little more and see if I can't get the last of it off. But um, here's the passenger side completely done. I was going to video doing this stuff, but I couldn't because I was using both hands I was using holding heat gun in one hand and pulling with the other and it was just a pain um, in that in the cup holder there I have the lettering the Silverado and then the little GM badge from this side um, I'm gonna keep that set and then I have everything peeled off of here that set of Silverado I threw away I'm not gonna keep both sets I only wanted one now it comes the fun of trying to peel all this crap off and yeah um i would set up my phone to video but i'm using the chair to sit on while i do this so it's kind of a pain it's an extreme pain in the butt to do um but it's worth it to me i like it a lot better without i mean you just look down the side of it that looks so much better like that than it did with that junk on plus washing this thing will be a lot easier now as well because washing this thing trying to pressure wash around those and like in between them and all that was a royal pain like very much a pain in the butt but uh yeah i'm i don't know if i'm gonna get to washing it tonight because it's i think oh uh, what is it probably it's quarter to eight already and it's gonna be dark soon, so that's, I just went inside and I ate, because I hadn't eaten yet today. So I wanted to go eat something, and then came back out to get finished on this side before it does get dark, and it's really chilly out here. It's windy again, so it is not at all nice out here, but whatever, it is what it is, I guess. So I'm gonna get at it, I'm gonna get the Silverado, removed first and then move on to removing from the trim it's a whole lot of warm it up with the heat gun for the silverado it's warm it up with the heat gun Ooh. peel at it with the trim it's a whole lot of peel it off wipe it down with goo gun peel again wipe it again peel again wipe again and it's just i gotta go in sections and it's so annoying but it's a pain to do but it's gonna be worth it it's gonna look very very nice without all that it already does look nice without it so but um i'm hoping to wash it tonight we'll see how dark it gets and whatnot um or how late it gets if i don't then i'll probably wash it when i get back from going out of town tomorrow to go talk to a farmer about a job 
Um, I'll probably wash it then. I'll probably actually just worry about it then because I'm going to be driving a few miles of gravel um, from the highway to his place and from his place back to the highway. So, plus taking the highway and everything. So, um, yeah, so I'll come back when I get this side done. So I'll see you guys in a bit. clean shiny again sparkling as always you got the rock lights shining we're good to go let's roll all right you guys so it's 
couple days later from the rest of the parts of this video um, it's currently Monday and I think the rest of it was recorded Saturday if I remember correctly um, I've had a busy couple days um, yesterday I had to drive about an hour north uh, I went and talked to a farmer about working for him um, and just to come home and be offered a job at a co-op in a town about a half hour away or so um, running fertilizer spreader for them uh, it's just kind of a temporary thing it's kind of for like the next six seven weeks I actually start that in the morning um, so videos might be kind of less for the time being um, I did go to Walmart earlier today and I picked up a mobile hotspot uh, through straight talk just so I can be able to use my phone while I'm at work uh, because at the moment uh, I am behind on my phone bill so I don't have service on my phone at the moment hopefully with this job I'll be able to get the bill caught up and get it back on and whatnot continue paying it but um so I might try and see if I can't maybe uh, do a little bit of video here and there uh, while I'm working um, but we'll see um, but, um, I had taken some pictures of before and after, uh, with the trim on this and for whatever reason, they uploaded into mega in a format that I can't open on my laptop, uh, with Photoshop. I can't use, um, paint on net. I can't even open it with my editing software. So I figured I'd just throw this clip in at the end to kind of show you guys the, uh, aftermath um so as you can tell there is still some um uh, when i drove the gravel to that farmer's place yesterday it outlined everything which is rather annoying but uh it's basically because i couldn't really get all the adhesive off um it's like that on both sides um by the time you guys are watching this i'll have ordered it already um when I was researching this about taking this stuff off, uh, the trim and the lettering, when I was researching it, um, I had found that pretty much everybody, they were using a heat gun to heat it up, as you guys saw me doing, and then they were using a 3M adhesive wheel on the end of a drill to... Um, uh, remove all the adhesive now I looked at every store in town here I looked at um, Menards Lowe's Ace Hardware Walmart um, Harbor Freight I looked at everywhere and nobody has them in town nobody carries it so what I'm gonna be doing um, is I found it on Amazon for like nine bucks I'm gonna order that and I'm also going to be ordering sticker for my back window across the top uh, that is going to say Black Widow, which is what the truck was given for a name uh, when I first bought it here two years ago. Um, so then when that comes in, I'll take this in, probably spray it down. I might even actually spray it down today. Um, I'm not going to video it because you guys already saw me spraying it down um, just because I want to kind of try and keep up on keeping it clean because i want to prevent this from getting any worse um as much as i possibly can until i have the money to get it sprayed um i've talked about it in the past before but i'll just go ahead and say it again um my box i want to get line xed and then i also want to have them spray um around my fender wells and then do a strip along the rocker um in line x and f i had gone to line x i gotten a quote it's about 500 bucks for them to spray the box it's an extra hundred if i want to have up here sprayed i'm not i'm still kind of undecided on that i haven't decided if i want to get the bed rails sprayed with line x2 or not i may just go ahead and do that um you know I was talking to the lady there that gave me the quotes, um, kind of asked her opinion with having this tunnel cover on here, what she thought would be best. Now, granted, 
in the future, my plan is I want to get rid of this tunnel cover and I want to put a over the rails toolbox in here and then get a tunnel cover to fit with that. Um, but you know, she told me with the tunnel cover, you know, especially if you drive with it closed all the time, which I do because I have my tools back there. I have a tote back there with my toe straps, my ratchet straps, a bunch of miscellaneous junk. I have a bunch of stuff in my box, so I keep it closed, keep it locked. Uh, especially with having my tools in there, I keep my tailgate locked now all the time. Um, old square body driving by there. Um, but um, she said, you know, with it being closed all the time, you're not really throwing as much stuff up from the box. So she said that she personally wouldn't worry about it as much. Now, I personally kind of, I kind of agree with her. Tunnel cover's closed. Nothing's really flying around in the bed. But I might just have that done anyways. Just go ahead and say screw it and get it done. Um, and whatnot. But then uh, for the quote for the rockers and the fender wells, um, that was about $1,400. And that includes them also putting fender flares on it. And then I want to go, I want to have this dent removed and then the dent up on my front quarter panel right about there um i want to get those two dents pulled and then the dent on my hood i'm not going to worry about because i do want to get a different style of hood i want to get an aftermarket hood for this thing at some point down the road um i'm not going to do it anytime soon obviously um wow that duramax is tricked out um I'm not gonna do it anytime soon, but I do plan to get a different hood in the future. Now, um, one of my family members actually asked me about this and I'm sure some of you guys are gonna ask, why did I remove the trim and the lettering? Two reasons. One, I didn't like the look of it. I like it so much better. Obviously, once the remnants of the adhesive are gone, it'll look a lot nicer. But um, that's kind of one reason. The other reason being that these trim pieces are not completely sealed off. There are still the corners that are open. Now, when I took them off, there was a lot of debris in there. There was a lot of dirt, a lot of dust, a lot of junk in there, and water could get in there. And I noticed a couple spots on actually the passenger side of my truck that the paint is bubbling in um, like it's gonna start rusting so I wanted to prevent it from rusting I don't want that to rust but um, you know it might anyways who knows we'll see I'm just kind of looking at peeling this um, tape off here because I'm actually gonna come out here in a little bit once I get this video editing, I'm going to come out and I'm going to probably throw some new duct tape on here. Um, get that done on the front and back bow ties and then also get my steering wheel done too. But um, yeah, so I just figured I'd show you guys that, update you guys on a couple things. And yeah, so I'm going to head on in. I'm going to get this put into my Mega so I can get it on my computer. And then uh, I'm going to get to editing and i got a fair amount of it to do so i'm gonna get to editing and that way i can get this video up for you guys as soon as possible so you guys have a video again and uh like i said i'm gonna try and do videos when i can but uh we'll see so thanks for watching you guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel make sure you subscribe if you have not done so already make sure you turn on the post notifications by clicking that little bell if you have not done so so that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure you check out down below in the description where you can find all of my specs for my PC, my upload schedule, which obviously is now going to change. And you can find the links to all my social medias, my Snapchat's down there. And I also have some links to some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at down there. Thanks for watching y'all. We'll see y'all in the next one.